Yo, that was a nasty and one dagger for Kyrie to ultimately send the Clippers to Cancun. Of course, it still took six games before Kyrie, Luka, and the Mavericks could dispatch Harden, Kawhi, PG Westbrook, and the Clippers. Alright, let's add PJ Tucker. Meanwhile, Shea Gilgis Alexander and the Thunder completed its first round playoffs sweep of the Pelicans. So up ahead, it's the Dallas Mavericks and the OKC Thunder for the Western Conference semifinals. The shoes on display have been quite the lineup, so let's talk. Welcome back, this is Fresh Bear. Smash the thumbs up button, share this video to your friends, follow me on Instagram, and if you're new here, subscribe to my channel for updates. That said, Let's dive in. The dynamic duo of Luka Doncic and Kyrie Irving helped steer the Dallas Mavericks past the Clippers. What's equally interesting is that both Mavs star players have recently debuted their signature shoes and the playoffs have given their kicks a fair share of the limelight. Luka Doncic would lace up three shoes throughout the first round of the playoffs. He would wear an all-black colorway of the Jordan Luka 2 in games 1, 2, 4, and 6. His latest shoe, the Jordan Luka 3, would also see game time. The photo finish colorway saw action in games 1 and 6, while the Midnight Racer would be seen in games 3, 5, and 6. Kyrie Irving would also play in three colorways of the Antikai 1. The home colorway would be his choice for games 1 and 5, while the artist on court would see court action in game 2. The mother colorway would take on games 3, 4, and 6. Shea Gilgis Alexander recently extended his sneaker deal with Converse with a guaranteed signature shoe by 2025. But in the meantime, Shea would rock the Converse All-Star BB Trillion CX in different colorways throughout the first round of the NBA playoffs. To start the series, Shea wore an orange upper with a yellow midsole of the Trillion CX. For the second game, he laced up the Wolfpack edition in white and moonbathe. In game 3, he wore a blue colorway with some orange hits. Completing the sweep, Shea returned to the Wolfpack in game 4. Meanwhile, Gordon Hayward still rocked the Anta GH4 during the first round of the playoffs even if the time is already ripe for Anta to debut the Anta GH5. Maybe we'll see Hayward finally debut his fifth signature shoe against the Mavericks including Kyrie and his Anta Kai 1. I'll try to make this quick but bear with me for a moment because we have some stuff to unpack for the Clippers. Where do I even begin? Ah, of course, James Harden, the beard, or the system, began his campaign with the Clippers with the debut of his Adidas Harden Volume 8 up until the playoffs, wearing one colorway for each game. For Game 1, Harden wore a purple colorway with black toe. Game 2 would have him wear a black upper with white toe box. For Game 3, he would lace up the Volume 8 with a black upper and yellow TPU cage. On Game 4, he would rock a blue upper with white TPU cage. By Game 5, Harden wore the Dragon Boat Festival colorway. Then in Game 6, he would debut the Luxury Red colorway. And then you have Paul George, whose footwear staples have always been the Kobe's. For Game 1 though, PG would start with the PG2 and would switch to the Kobe 4 Mamba Sita, which he also wore in Game 5. For Games 2, 3, 4, and 6, he would lace up the Kobe 4 Philly. Stay with me, we're more than halfway done. Kawhi, of course, would have his latest signature shoe from New Balance the Kawhi 4. However, due to injuries, we would only see him wear the shoe twice in the playoffs. In Game 2, Kawhi wore a predominantly black upper with red accents. Then in Game 3, he would lace up an all-white upper with blue accents. Next up, we have Russell Westbrook. Despite having a new shoe, he would wear an all-black version of the Jordan 1 Take 4 in Games 1, 3, and 5. 
In Game 2, he would wear an all-white colorway. Now for Game 4, Russ opted for the Jordan 1 Take 4 in a blue upper. Then in Game 6, Russ would switch between the Jordan 1 Take 4 UCLA and an all-white Jordan 1 Take 5. The list for the Clippers wouldn't be complete without P.J. Tucker. His lineup of sneakers include a P.E. of the Kobe 4, a blacked out Kobe 3, his P.E. of the Nike Air Flight 89 Low, and a predominantly coral colorway of the Kobe 6. He would have more shoes worn than actual playoffs game played on the court. Of course, two players from the Pelicans are worth mentioning. Zion Williamson and Brandon Ingram. Zion because, well, it was a missed opportunity for Jordan Brand to showcase the Jordan Zion 3 during the playoffs as Zion was out due to an injury. But for Ingram, he wore the Air Jordan 38 in an all orange colorway, the Aqua colorway, the Olympic or Torch colorway, and the Playoffs colorway. So there you have it. Let me know what you think. Tell me which shoes you love and which shoes you're not a fan of. Post your thoughts in the comment section, smash the thumbs up button, share this video to your friends, follow me on Instagram, and if you're new here, subscribe to my channel for updates. This is Fresh Bear. Thanks for watching. Peace and love to the fellow underdogs.